that's on the right side again. No, I don't want this. Ah, oh, fix it, please. So annoying. Anyways. Oh, okay, we're up. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with my Persona 5 Royal. Sorry for taking the week long break. Um, last week, I was really busy with work, so I didn't really get to um, end work on time to start streaming unless it was like at 8 30 at night, which would be too late for me and for everyone. So, I did not stream. Um, I leveled my party members to 51. I made some new personas. Um, I make gotta make sure there's a Psy in here. Okay, I got a couple of size. Yep. Okay. That should be good for the boss. I do have Messiah, right? Okay. Because I think I'm gonna go in and uh, beat up the boss. Also, I updated my computer. So a lot of- I was like fiddling with Streamlabs settings. If something sounds off, please let me know because I can't tell if my mic volume is too low or if the video capture device is too high. Still didn't finish like updating everything, like seeing if the mic was okay. Oh, my Streamlabs layout is weird too, but oh well, we'll see what happens. I feel like my camera moved over. Whatever. No fiddling. It's time to play games. I just really hope the but it's all good again. Hey Light, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Long time no see, how you been? Uh, I need to leave. It's cute, I rid you the treasure. Yeah, get out of here. It was really annoying level grinding in here because, like, there are not a lot of good places to, um, grind battles. Because there were like alarms or blockages everywhere. Oh, so annoying. Okay, how about have you been missing your streams? It's okay. Um, last week I didn't stream at all because Monday I wasn't feeling well, and then the rest of the week I was super busy with work, so I didn't get a chance to stream last week. So I'm happy to be streaming again, even though it's super freaking hot. Holy crap! A lot has been happening on way. Did something happen? You know the whole kerfuffle between you and Mona. You really gotta bring that up again? It's all good. It was because of your fight that we met Haru after all. Thank you, I wouldn't have been able to do this without your help. Now is not the time to thank us. The finishing touch still remains. The calling card, right? What do I need to do? Jelly will decide when we send it. Once he does that, we'll meet up and discuss the details. I'll prepare myself for that. I leave it in your capable hands, Toastkun. <laughs> but dude, is it like hot everywhere? Oh yeah, we're gonna fight Okumura. Definitely. And then I want to go to Disneyland. Is there anything I could do? What are my personal stats at? Uh, her social stats. Knowledge is max, charm is max. So I gotta do guts and kindness. Let me check my plants. I know I can't um, clean LeBlanc because there's people in here still. So guts and kindness, guts and kindness, guts and kindness. Mona sitting down, so I can't go far. That's it, kind of. Okay, I can't go out at all. Is there a book I can read? Wait, get out of here. I'm not interested. Whatever. Yeah, go home. Uh, guts! Yes! Perfect book. Yeah, I just- I talked to him so that he gets out of here! A heart without hesitance is the essence of Bushido. Mm. Learning about the spirit of the samurai seems useful, but this book still is difficult. Oh. Still got time to read, let's go a little further! A heart that never backs down is the secret to Bushido. It's weird to see Joker wearing a winter uniform. Even though it's super hot in real life, I'm dying. Like, I actually have to bust out my tank tops now. It's crazy. On! Good morning! The deadline's almost here. Will we be fine? We have to send the calling card as soon as possible. We'll send it soon, right? Uh, I'm thinking about it. Depends on who I get to hang out with today. How are we taken by that guy if we don't hurry? Don't worry, we've got a week left. Toast lives! Hey Kirby, how you doing? Thanks for joining! 
I'm gonna always have my fan running. Oh yeah, it's so hot. Hey Rev, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Hi, hi. Like, I actually had to keep my AC on all day. It's so hot. Changing my lesson for today, instead of regular class, we'll be reviewing last week's materials. I suggest you listen carefully. Oh, but I don't have to up my proficiency anymore, it's just kind of- Oh wait, I can finish reading the book! Yeah. No, wait, I- Yeah, read. Master Swordsman. Max my guts now, please. A heart that believes in oneself is the truth of Bushido. Oh yeah, guys, um, is my- are my audio levels okay? Is my mic too low? Is the game too low? Too high? Please let me know. How hot is it there? It's like 90 degrees. It's like... Yeah, 90 degrees here too. I feel like all across America, it's 90 degrees everywhere. That freaking sucks. Come on, max it out, max it out. Damn it! So close. It's been hot here too. Oh. What is up with this week? I feel like it started this weekend, and now it's just like, hi, I'm dying. Hey Axel, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Uh, doesn't look like anyone wants to hang out with me. Uh, Takemi. Ooh, Takemi? But she's not essential. Oh wait, but if we send it out today, then we're going in tomorrow. Uh, let's just send it out. Who cares? Go right away! I think the game audio could be a tiny bit louder, but the balance is the point where it's just preference. Okay, uh, then I'll raise a tiny bit. Really hot, humid, it's been randomly raining during the day? I feel like that would help the heat here in, um, Alley. But that sounds nice. I actually got that script done, I actually uploaded a video yesterday, but nobody watched it. Oh no! I haven't been really checking YouTube, I've just been rewatching Downton Abbey again. So I haven't checked YouTube or like any of my other subscription services like Netflix, Disney Plus. I know Hamilton came out, but I didn't even watch that yet. Ironically, I'm almost done with another script too. Damn, you're fast. In Canada, the rain don't help, it just gets more humid. Oh, that's gross. That sucks. Okay, I raised my game volume a little higher, so hopefully that sounds better. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, are we gonna start social with her? Oh yeah, I think it is. Oh no, wait, no, this is when she asked me to help out with the, um, the school garden. I'll grow veggies. You can eat them and be strong. Wait, no, a new person fighting? Oh, their show time. Never mind, I lied. Oh, thank I was best girl and I literally fist by whoever disagrees. I'm sorry, my best girl is Bakoto. I'm sorry! <laughs> but Haru's a cute girl too. It just sucks that whoever is the last party member to join in any Persona game is shafted because they barely get, like, as much development as the other characters. They barely get, like, as much screen time. So a lot of people tend to not like them as much, and I'm just like, that's not fair. Maybe it's humidity, so that would probably be worse though. Don't, don't worry about it, you can watch it whenever you want. This video compared to Sonic movie to Detective Pikachu. I have not watched Detective Pikachu, but I have watched Sonic, and I really enjoyed Sonic. I thought it was a cute movie. Not Max and Kato still haunts me. <laughs> Yeah, whoever joins last, I'm like, better make sure I hang out with them to max them out. The star granted their wish, but I'll never see it because you'll never be in my party. No, I should see it so I can unlock the video in the... In the Thieves' Den. Maybe I should switch out Haru. Oh wait! 
I need that means I need to buy how to better equipment. Detective Pikachu was cute. Okay, maybe I'll get around to watching it finally. おお、回答の色がね。教えてなかったわね。よろしくお願いします。おお、ハル。ワケットソハル。やる気あんな。と言っても、春の場合、基礎の基礎はもう我が輩が教えてやったしな。うん。他に伝えることといえば。そうだ
Guts and kindness, guts and kindness, guts and kindness. Do I have another book I can read? Wait! Let me clean this- let me clean the store. It's time to clean up. Kindness! Yes, let's begin. Hi, Chief. Yes, love me! Wow, oh my gosh, it's so clean, it's beautiful! Ah. Let's fight Okumura. Take your heart. I can read! Uh, let's see. Batting science, practice in my Chinese suite, theme park escort. Fish pond spotter, Tokyo sky tree. Which place do I want to unlock first? I think I should do fish pond spotter because there is a trophy for going fishing, so I'll do that. Not very romantic, but whatever. Experience the wonder of the great outdoors right in this very city. No, no. Ichikaya, that's a train station, right? When you look at the photos, it looks like the station's in the fishing pond. The kind of place might not be everyone's cup of tea, but you can have fun on your own. Ooh. They finished reading fish pond spotter. Blah, 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 Ichikaya. I hate fishing though. Hello. Hey Cell, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Uh is there more time to max out Lynx and Royal? I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think so, because you get to play the third semester. So I'm hoping that that'll give you more time. I'm hoping it'll give you December, January, February to complete the links. Romantic toast. <laughs> I just want to be able to take girls out on dates, man. Is that wrong? Since the original was already surprising lax, I managed to max them all in one play through no guy needed. Oh! Damn! Oh, you abusive fortune teller. Yeah, my first playthrough, I did not max out everyone. I didn't even realize the fortune teller was a social link. Totally did not do her. Because for rank 1, it's like, hey, you have to pay 100,000 yen. And I'm like, nope, not doing it. I didn't want to spend that much money. I was poor. It's a lot easier to max links even with three extra links to do. Three extra? One, two... Who's the third? Oh yeah, there are three extra. Yep, 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 yep. Single life for the win. Uh, sadness. Crying in my heart. <laughs> First time I had free time in a while? Oh! Don't, aren't you on summer break now? Well, I guess you could be busy doing your own stuff. Mainly because I'm skipping my homework. I thought you were done with school. Counting on you, yeah, because... In in original, he was automatic, right? French Revolution? Having executed the royalty, the revolutionaries proceeded to take the courts under their control. All who opposed the revolution were executed. However, the revolutionaries, too, were then vi wait, reviled as despots and executed by the public. Many people were executed during the French Revolution. The fact that this many executions were possible was actually due to one specific invention. Toast could take a look at this. I wonder what it could be. Oh, he says it. This is a guillotine, a tool which allowed for max executions. Now, do you know who invented this instrument? I want to say Joseph Igbe's guillotine? And I would be right. Yeah. That's correct. This tool is named after him. By the way, Charles Henry Sanson, the famous executioner, it's said that he killed 2,800 people with the advent of the guillotine. It may look cruel, but it delivered a swift, painless execution regardless of one's social status. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that it embodied the French spirit of equality. Unless the blade was dull and you didn't drop it correctly, then they died of painful slow death. Do, do, do. 
do. I have a summer college course and I work like 42 hours a week as a part-time worker. Uh, 42 is way over full-time? What the heck? I'm not cheating! I was just confirming my answer. I, I was going to pick him, I just wanted to double check. Revolution is sometimes a bloody thing. The revolutionaries that rose up for freedom became despots themselves. It's a common tale. Our social reform doesn't hurt anybody in the real world. It's a bloodless revolution. Uh. Yeah, that's not part time. If you're clocking in over 42, like, then don't they have to mandatory give you full time position and pay? That's messed up. I hate having the chat on the right side of my stream labs. Holy crap, how do I move to the left? This is so annoying. Yeah. Uh... Oh man, oh man. How do I change it? How do I change it? How do I change it? No. No. Damn it, I don't know how to do this. I'll do it later. Let's just go in, guys. Go in. Stop talking about this. Let's beat him up. Let's beat him up. Let's beat up Haru's dad. Take all his money. I really got a choice though, because Corona has taken away my ability to get super I know that they froze, um. Uh, uh. What was it? Accruing interest for student loans. But they're stopping giving out loans too? That doesn't make sense. I want to know the truth! You can't handle the truth. Because, yeah, loans are from... Uh, the government, aren't they? So they should be able to... They should still be responsible for handing out loans. The government has to take care of its citizens. They froze payments, so they made the requirements to get them higher. We're in a freaking pandemic. How is how is that not just like a base? Hey, let's help you out, because you might not be able to get income. That's just <sighs> only summer from the gub. I thought like subsidized loans were ugh. freaking. Ugh. Sometimes the world sucks. Like we live in a really great world because technology is awesome, and we could do so many cool things. But sometimes it's just like, what what are you thinking? Like, help people out. Give people a chance to get a good education. Give everyone health care. Yeah, not... Yeah. It's not a hard thing to do. Ugh. We're in a pandemic, Jelly Ash. You guys are a bunch of teenagers in swimsuits. <laughs> it's safe in their world, okay? This is before 2020. Where am I going? I'm going this way, right? Ooh. What is that thing? It's a UFO! Is that the frisbee skull mentioned before? That's what they're making here? The SS Utopia will soon enter its launch sequence from the shipbuilding dock. After retrieval of the main core, the launch sequence will commence. The SS Utopia? Project Escape to Utopia. So this is what that was about. Well, father did say he was going to send it to the political world. So even this company is a stepping stone for him. He'll discard this place for his utopia. Wait up, if he gets out of here, we're not going to be able to make him tell us about the shutdowns. You're right, we gotta hurry. I think we can go in further now. Then let's go! 
Me they do be practicing social distancing though. Exactly! Whenever we run, we're all like super spread out. And they're all wearing masks! Ha 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 ha! Time for Okumura to get clapped. Or for Jelly to go rage because of robots. Oh no, I hope I don't go rage. <laughs> Are you sure? Because the calendar says 20 XX, which we know XX is 10. 10 and XX is 10 together, and you get 2020. <laughs> Stop trying to make sense, Zell! <laughs> or would it just be 201010? It'll be the year 201010. Use my grappling hook! Don't use my grappling hook. Ah, please get up on the ramp. <laughs> Bye. You don't see me. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh that scared me. Wait! I came the wrong way? What? 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 Ah! Where am I going? Which way am I going? Where do I come from? Where do I go? Is this for real? Avoiding unnecessary battles would probably be for the best. Let's retreat and come up with a different strategy. No way, we ain't got time for that. We gotta plow through them. Are you even thinking if we use up all of our energy now, we may as well toss our entire plan? Hold on, guys. Come on, calm down. Joker! You make the call, Joker. I've got your back either way. Please die. Damn it! This one's strong! Thinking about it, it's kind of funny how they gave up on sending the games in a certain year after P4. Mm -hmm. Ooh, technical. Technical, why? Oh! No, and he's the one that's weak against Fryla, isn't he? Yes, he is. Frack. And attack him. Technical. Technical. Damn it, I forgot he blocks guns. What am I doing? I'm so stupid. Oh no. Ah. Uh, uh, oh my word. I'm wasting so much time. Ha! Ah, take that. Stop wasting my time! I'm so sorry, Haru. I mean, not Haru. Put that up, but. Stop wasting my time. Ah! Oh my gosh, that was strong. Did you not have a smoke bomb? I do I have smoke bomb? Ah! <laughs> Woo, surprise. Ah, go up, go up, go up! Freaking console! Oh my word. I have to be right in front of it, that's stupid. <sighs> Take it in the form of 10, 10 would be multiplication you get to it. Oh, dude, I haven't done math in so long. So long. They far into the future, depending on how we look at it. Persona 5 is probably like. 2015 minimum, I'd say it's like 1617. Well, what year did it come out? Because um, the year it came out, I think that's um, that's what year it's supposed to be. Because I was checking when my birthday lined up in the calendar, and I was like, oh no, that's right. Think about it, Joker could play Cyberpunk 2077. That would be awesome. 
if you were to jump in the gun there. Hey, yeah, yeah. It would be awesome. retro to him. Uh, why didn't you have like a sleep aura? I, I'm terrible at using status effect stuff. I'm just like, boom, hit them, and just go. Oh, look at poor little me. I'm just a shadowy man. Time to kill him. Status OP. I know, I know, but uh, the only status I like doing is um, uh, buffing and debuffing. Defense, speed, attack. We don't want to buy royal, but I'm excited to be quite a while for the next person, so I want to space him out. That's, that's good. Unless they come up with like a Persona 5 fighting game, because they made Scramble, but like they still gotta make a fighting game and uh, maybe like another visual novel kind of game. Still no updates on SMT 5 either. I know, like they haven't said anything about SMT. Weird. Hey, Smooth, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Those aren't status effects, those are buffs. Yeah. That's the only kind of buffing I like to do. It's like a sleep bomb thing you could do to turn it all into shadows to sleep so you can run past. Oh, I don't think I made those. Oopsies, I've only been late making lockpicks. Remember the days when people would say staff boost and move and Pokemon are useless? Dude! <laughs> when wild Pidgeys just keep using sand attack and you can't hit them, that is the most infuriating thing in the world. I want a full on dating sim, you me too. None of this like dungeon crawling stuff, just full on dating so like i want to be a female character and i want to be able to date all the guys please please maybe we could be kasumi in the dating sim and then we can date all the guys that would be awesome uh i should really just play my dating sims on vita but i'm still so hooked on animal crossing dating sim after we do royal <laughs> I love dating sims. Apparently, P5 is set in 2016 so days, line up with the 2016 calendar. Calendar, whoops. You have actual dating sim games on your Vita, or are you just joking about Persona on Vita? Oh, no, I have actual, like. Uh, they're, they're more like visual novels, but no, it's totally dating sims. Because you're just one girl trying to go out with all these guys. Oh, there's a fly in my room. Come over here. Okay, it's gone. Jelly still hasn't finished Royal yet. I haven't! I haven't! It's like everyone's interest in Royal died, but I'm still playing. <laughs> How much to get you to play one stream of that normal boots? Normal boots? Dating sim? What's normal boots? Doki Doki Literature Club. The thing is, I know the twist about Doki Doki Literature Club. Because I was watching um, Game Grumps play it. So it's totally ruined for me. I know all the twists and turns. Vita is like the visual novel console, basically. I know! And that's why I loved it so much! Because it was so easy to rack up trophies for your PlayStation account, too! So I was just like, I'll play all these visual novels, I'll get to see beautiful art, and be like, ooh, romancing dudes, cool! And, ah, oh, man, I loved it. I loved it, but now all the visual novels are coming to Switch. But you can't earn trophies on the Switch, so I'm just like... <sighs> I guess it's better than nothing, at least they're still keeping up with visual novels. Oh shoot, I'm wasting time! Ah! Only 30 minutes! Can we get a playthrough of the pigeon dating sim? Okay, the pigeon one! I... I don't know too much about, I only know one ending. But yeah, Pigeon one, hot to full boyfriend? Seems interesting. Vita's the best handheld though, we all know it. Oh man, Vita was... Oh. I will cherish my Vita forever. So good. 
<gasps> Do not target my child. Oh, what are you all weak against? Weak against Garu. Garu? Oh, I got you, my Garu. Now die. Why are we hurt? Oh, because we had battles. Come on. Ah, missed. Normal Boots is a group of different gaming YouTubers. It has Pro Jared, PBG, Space Hammer, John Tron, Digino Gaming, along with some YouTubers from Hidden Block. That's a normal group. Wow, that's a lot of big names. Whoa, Haru. Was this an original? I do not remember this. Wow. Uh, sounds like it sounds vital to your life. Ha 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 ha! I mean, Vita basically means life. Vita is underrated. It is. And you actually got to take screenshots with the Vita? Like, what other handheld console at that time let you take screenshots? It's amazing! It got screwed by the proprietary memory cards. Yep, that's the only thing that really sucked about Vita. You had to get special memory cards. Vita re-release, please. Oh my gosh, yes, I would love that. <gasps> Nanoja! Hey, long time no see, dude! Hope you've been well. No matter say, I haven't been catching up with your stream. It's all good. I'm still enjoying all of your vids on Instagram. Neo looks really pretty. What are you weak against? Uh, damn it, Snow. Uh, whatever. Uh, oh, hi! Excuse me. No, it was not. No, it was not what? Some dumb reason people think that a console that doesn't sell well sucks somehow. People say that Vita and Wii U suck when they're both fantastic consoles. I didn't think the Wii U was terrible. It's just I already had a Wii, so I was like, I can't seem like justify getting a reason to get a Wii U. But I thought that like um that console screen thing that Wii U had was really cool. I was like, wow, that's pretty handy. Wow, they're just weak against all of my party members' elements. This is awesome. Wii U actually does suck to be fair. No games and cheap builds. I feel like Wii U did not. Mm. I don't know. I thought the Wii U was cool. Because, like, I played Mario Kart on it. I played some other games. It was fun. But I just already had a Wii, and I was like, I can't buy another system, like, so soon. What's a Wii? Uh, Wii U was a proto switch, and it showed. I didn't buy my Wii U, I wanted a contest at my GameStop. That's awesome! My Switch games come from Wii U. Like, didn't Xenoblade uh, Chronicles come out on Wii U? Garu again! Pikmin 3 on Wii U. There are some good games on it. The console sold like butt though and was misadvertised horribly. Yeah, I feel like, um... Oh gosh, they're not dead. Woo. I should stop killing him. Freeze to death, please. Uh. Oh man, I could do technical, but you know, everyone's gonna die. Most of the good first party games so they got ported to Switch now for a reason. I mean, I guess that it's a good, good thing that Switch has all these ports. So that you could play Wii U games on it. But oh gosh, stop flying around me! Cool concept, poor execution. Yeah, there we go. Nicely worded. I can say the Wii U sucked when it had Mario Kart 8, Breath of the Wild, Pick the 3, and 3D Zelda remakes. Yeah, Mario Kart 8 was really fun and whoa, obnoxious blonde one. Excuse you. Magarula. 
10 again. Team of the Chronicles one is weak. Oh, okay, it was that early. Can I shoot you? Okay, still pretty resistant to it. Ah, yeah, I should have tried to, um, watch him call it. Freeze him to do technical damage. Oh, well. Do I switch the I think Xenoblade is Wii U never played. Ah. Uh. Whoa! Oh, did he just run away? Yo, fly, come here. Oh, another game that the Wii U had that no one else did? Fatal Frame 5! And they used the gamepad thing in a pretty interesting way. It's like, hey, this is your camera, like, angle it, get them into shot. Oh, get rid of them all at once. Okay, okay. Come here. Or don't. Oh no, he's enraged! Okay. Just do all target stuff. Oh! But we'll just hit everyone! One foe, heavy fist to all the technical, come on! Ryla, let's go! Everyone die, please! Damn it! Those two are still alive! Wait, but if I kill them the next round, then it should be fine. No? Whoops! Ow! Uh, Xenoblade 1 got a remaster for server. If you give it a glance at the games on Wii, you'd realize how many quality are gonna get when it comes to first party offerings. Stop it! Oh my gosh. This part is stupid because the game lies from what I remember. Lies about what? Oh no, we're hungry! Okay, so what exactly are they targeting? Because... <laughs> He's just targeting all the boys. Um, get ready to die. Our offense is low. It don't matter as long as you hit the weakness. Killing them simultaneously isn't get what passes me. Oh. You remember, by the way, Robaharu is best girl. <laughs> you read back. Okay. Love the board's slightly disdainful look in her eyes. <laughs> Basically, you have to kill them all in two turns. Ah, okay. Oops. What are you weak against? Against Sai! Cool! Um, wait, I want to heal her hunger. Heal her hunger. Uh, hunger. Here's hunger for one ally. Thank you. Oh, Yuji, you're so hurt. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill this in two turns, holy crap. Please stand in the way for me. Ah! I'm gonna die. <sighs> Basically, uh, they'll always run away on the second turn, even if you didn't kill any. So it's really dumb, which sucks because honestly, I like the concept of the side a lot. I did say target Joker. <sighs> Restart the battle, please. Oh no, wait, I have to heal before- oh, whatever. Whatever! Dark-haired woman, don't you touch my girlfriend! Oh, 
Oh, okay. Well, let's see how round two goes. Hey, Roboharu. Looking cute. Wake him up. Wake him up inside. Wake him up inside. Here we can boo boo. Boo boo. Just let's get them all. Basically, morning for me, man. So I'm gonna try to see as much as I. Okay, Axel, thanks for joining. Have a good night. Get some restful sleep. Hang on. Boomla! Oh my gosh! Axel, thanks so much for subbing! Dude, thank you so, 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 so much. I got a new Evo! Woo! Have a good night, dude! I'm weak against Fryla, so I can't heal everyone right now. Gotta get him down. Did I even like hit Okumura? Oh, Marakunda! Oh, Yo, Futaba! Futaba! Can you help us, Futaba? Wait, um, uh, Makoto has Dakukaja, so. Okay. I really need to heal though. Uh, hey, how about Masuku Kaja? Can't hit me now! Oh, should I have Mataru Kaja with um, what you call it? Masuku yeah, Kaja. Take your debuff and go, man. Get out of here. I kind of want to redo my emotes. Like, my tier 2 one, I want to do a boba drinking one. Because I love boba so much. Ha! Can't touch me! Okay. Dekaja? Oh, screw you, man. Now what you gonna do? Akunda? Screw you. Well, I'll still super kaja. Uh, oh no, I should have done um duck down. Damn it. Technical, technical, technical. Let's go. I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. Cause it was gonna be the second turn. But I gotta heal. I gotta heal. Then boba drinking, then vomit. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I mean, if you do consume too much boba, it's not good. Inflict it with hunger, no! Naku Kaja, no! Uh, die. Oh, wait, okay, so Makoto has energy shower. So, that should heal their hunger. These guys. Well, uh, if y'all won't help with offensive, might as well buff people up. <laughs> and energy shower. No, energy shower doesn't do hunger. Ah, oh, frack. Well, then now's a good time to heal. Could have done Maraku Kaja, but I feel like he's gonna debuff me next turn. <gasps> what? I have Suku Kaja on. What the heck? Well, now he's just gonna hit because I'm down. What the? This. I had Suku Kaja on. Do not get hit again. Sacrifice order? Oh no, he's gonna blow up. Oh my gosh, that was so annoying. Hey, start a silver heels! 
die. Uh, yeah. Dude. Crit, go again. Not again? Uh, I gotta heal, I gotta heal, I gotta heal. Um, sure, why not? I have 19 beads. Where do you think you're going? Oh no, we gotta do this again. Frack. This guy. Uh. Don't get in my way. My dog's Linda. One of my boys is gonna. No. Um, I'm still tired of Kajet, right? Fukaba, nice. Now would be a very nice time to give me some buffs, please. Uh, I feel like. Mm, what should I do? What should I do? Do I have a. D chain? Why not? He marakunded me so. So to be safe. And I just gotta start attacking. Resistance. Should I swap out a party member for Haru? She will help do side damage. If I do not kill them the second turn, I'm going to have to switch someone out. Probably Yuji. <gasps> How did you get hit? I have Sukukaja on! <laughs> Guys! I'll see if you can, I would just baton pass as much as I could to buff that attack. But they're like... They only have one weakness. So I can't really baton pass. Uh... Or they will die this time around. Yeah! No! Ooh. Um, I should have a uh, what you call it? Um, Ice Wind, Alex, Nuke, Sai, Sai. Oh, I only have one Sai Magatama. Doesn't matter. Go do it. Shoot! Can I? No, I can't switch out party members. Joker has to do it. Frag! How did we miss this guy? Um, can we freeze him? Freeze! Damn it! Ah! Ah! Damn it! You can tech as well. Yeah, yeah, I can. But then, if I switch out... This isn't Digital Devil Saga, you can't get me hungry. Uh, order... Switch party members... Uh, Maharu... Well, she's only 46! Uh, she has weak stuff, but she's got Sai. She's got Sai. Sai! Top pass. Ah, uh, Breathe someone. Okay, cool. I need to heal you, Skin. What am I doing? Ah! Uh, Items attacks are really, really nice for this fight. Just can't hit them one by one to get a cap from Taunt Pass. I, I ran out of items though. The defense buff guy is. I know, I know. I have the Kaja on one of my personas. But I gotta. I just gotta kill him really quick. Mindfulness, cool. But Tom Pass, cool. Yeah, she doesn't get the extra buffs because I didn't take her to um, play darts yet. Uh, 
Excuse me, why did I not baton? Oh, she doesn't know! Come fast! My social leg was too low with her! Damn it! Freeze him! Gosh, darn! Uh, I didn't kill him this time around again! Back! Stop buffing them! Stop buffing them! <sighs> I guess I'm functional because we're far of a baton pass. Today! I thought you had to be um, level 6 for baton pass. Do I still have Tsukukaja on? As long as I have Tsukukaja on, I should be fine. Oh, here we go again. Ah, oh, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes again. Ah, oh, here it goes again. I should have known, should have known, should have known again. Please die. Do 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 do. Just die. Do 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 do. Super Kaja. Just so I don't have to heal you, scared. I have Super Kaja on. Dodge everything, please. I only have 18 minutes left! Ah! Shoot, 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 shoot. Yes, good job, Queen. Thank you very much. No, Queen, how could you? Target that one next. Oh no, it's me! It's me! Mario! Thank the Lord! Oh no! Oh no! No! He's the defense buffed one! Oh my word! Oh my word! Oh my word! Uh, uh, don't I have a debuff? One? Debuff? 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 Please? Uh, 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 all but whatever. Should have used fast pizzle water from the start. I'm stupid. And now he's gonna live off fracking cracker jacks. You get crack. What? Oh. Okay. Race those. <laughs> ah. Oh, they do start off with baton pass, but then why was she not baton passing? They ended themselves. <laughs> oh, lucky for me. That was such utter nonsense. Wow. The robot was already knocked down. Oh, that's why they didn't baton pass? Frack. Not hungry! What are you weak against? Um, where's my debilitate? I didn't bring out my debilitate again. Oh no. Oh no. Damn it. I did this is only one ally at a time. Let's just try this. Okay, he's not weak against that. Cool, 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 Are you weak against gun? No. Where is my all allies? But I don't want to do that again. Fully restores all allies. One ally. 
Usually. SP of all allies. Uh, insta kill, physical attacks. Rah! Whatever. Then I'll just attack you. Okay. Uh, Mediagama. What are you doing? Oh, he's focused. Oh no! Oh, what are you weak against? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah. Uh, Yusuke is running out of SP, but let's just try, um, whatchamacallit. Just try this. What are you weak against? Uh, air. Can I did air. Can I do a lick? It's looked a shock! Yo! What? Oh, shoot him. All that attack? Come on! Uh, uh. You're a strong boy. But did I use up all my guns? No, yeah, because, uh, here you go. Ha! Yes, he's shocked. Look at him, kill those thieves, even if it costs you your life, but then when his life is in danger, he's just like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Have mercy on me. Shut the hell up. Uh, die. How much more? Oh, thank goodness it's over. Woo! I need to heal. I know. I remember why I didn't remember this guy as much because I lucked out. <laughs> No weaknesses, physical attacks OP. Ah. I'm so lucky I got that technical. Yo, how do showtime? Just automatic showtime, come on. Oh, I'm gonna fight Haru? I gotta fight Haru? Her dad? Is such garbage. Holy crap. <gasps> no! Whoa! We got CRH toast. <laughs> Sing on 10k channel points. I added some stuff for channel points. I'm thinking of adding some more. I don't know what exactly to add though. Maybe like draw a thing? I don't know. Are you also no weakness? Uh... She just seems weak. Make me dab! <laughs> Make me dab! Dab. 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 There you go. Another one. Dab. <laughs> Stick your slip buffing people. Oh my gosh! Wait. Hydrate and posture check. Posture check good. Engage your core. Straighten your back. Shoulders back. Okay, hydrate. Make me dab. Dab. <laughs> there you go. Now this is... Cat capitalism. <laughs> Someone clip the jelly. <laughs> that robot hair. That hair is so janky. Oh my gosh, another one? Dab. <laughs> my dreams! This is what he truly thinks of his daughter. That he can just blow her up. What the heck? You're the freaking dad, man. Sacrifice order, heck no. 
Uh, I'll just attack you. Beast mode on! Oh, I should have used the... Uh, whatever, whatever. She's gonna die. How? That's a chapel show devs. <laughs> oh my gosh, you clicked it! Clipped it! <laughs> At least clipped the first four devs. <laughs> Seems hesitant, now you die. I know you're still defense buffed, so let's go. Die! Weakling! One hit and you're down. Oh my gosh, okay, wait. Hydrate and then two hydrates and three downs, okay. Two hydrates. Dabs. Which way did I go that way? Okay. Dab. 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 There you go. I have thousands of points. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to think of more <laughs> redeem point things. Dekaja! Stagnant air, please. I hate that. Finally some real use for these points. I don't know what else to do with the maybe like choose which personas I use in battle? I don't know. It wouldn't be the end if you weren't such a scumbag. Damn. Persona VIP. <laughs> like, um, what are good ideas for um, outfits? Oh, yeah. You can choose what outfits each character wears. You can choose my party members. That's a good one. I'm gonna write that down. Very good ideas. 50 to 200 for outfits. Mm. Okay. Uh, channel. Whoa, it's been such a long time since I wrote with a pen. My handwriting's weird. Um, choose outfits. Oh yeah, if I like make certain outfits worth a certain amount of points, then like I'll change them to that. Hmm. And then for different games, I'll just have to do different channel rewards. But thanks for the good ideas, guys. Wait? He has a black mask. New award idea of vomit. Oh. <laughs> I can't vomit on command. Innovation. <laughs> She spoke very quickly. Doesn't even dwell on her sad face, it's just like, let's go! <gasps> yeah. Why am I shocked? I knew this was gonna happen! <laughs> Need a donation and set the tracker on screen. I feel weird about like asking for donations though. Like using your channel points cool because that doesn't require you to like spend any kind of like physical money. But um like donation? If you wanna donate, like cool. If you wanna cheer bits, cool. But I don't wanna be like, hey, I'm trying to reach this much. Do it. Please give me money. Oh, I feel weird about that. Four, oh, half joking about donation incentive. Two, a little weird since streaming is just a hobby. It, yep. Like, I'm so thankful I get to do this just as a hobby, so I don't have to, like, worry about building up a fan base, building up enough of an audience, and then continuously streaming, even when I'm, like, not feeling all that great. 
And I'm like super thankful that people just show up even though like I'm not very consistent with my streaming schedule. But hey, it's for fun. I'm not like streaming as a job. Mm -hmm. Like, even just streaming as a hobby like this is stressful for me because I'm like, oh man, I can't stream today because I'm not feeling that well or I'm busy or I have plans. So I'm just like, damn, that sucks. Also, making sure you have your equipment like all like 100% running smoothly and working. If internet's down, you're screwed. It's just a lot of stress. I just seen just from looking up Somnia files because I just finished it. I was like, I kind of want to watch people play it now. Yeah, I I got a lot of people from playing Catherine. I got a lot of people from playing Somnia files. Yeah, it's just interesting to see like other people because those like those games aren't as big, and so you want to see how other people like play through it. Because you're like, hey, I really enjoyed this game. I, I want to keep it going for a little longer. Uh, I really want to get back into Catherine again, though, because I got a platinum trophy. Somnium files, like platinum trophy. Yeah. Maybe I should make a donation goal. If I reach a certain donation amount, I'll learn the dance um, Invincible Rainbow arrow that was the name of the song right invincible rainbow something i tried streaming not so long ago but crashed and burned for some reason my setup wasn't working and the stream lagged like crazy mm -hmm. like i feel like a lot of people when they want to start streaming at first they get down because they they're like okay all i need is a camera uh the game a computer a mic boom go but then like yeah, you don't realize, oh hey, is my internet speed okay? Is the stream lagging? Like, you could have everything set up on your end perfectly, but because of internet or like, you know, YouTube or whatever platform you're um, streaming on, they're just like, no, we're going through some hiccups. And also keeping the energy up for like a long time, it can be tiring, because when you're playing by yourself, you can like skip all the dialogue, you don't have to keep talking out loud. You don't have to pay as much attention, so when you're playing by yourself, you could game for a long time. But when you're streaming, you gotta be like 100% on. Luna is kind of draining. Okay, okay, evil guy. Yeah, I don't care about him. Not talking. Sorry, I was kind of like rambling and kind of preachy just then, talking about streaming. Anyway, streaming is fun, guys. Video games with friends is fun. Props to full-time streamers, man. <laughs> they work really hard. <sighs> I think what does make sense is that I streamed before a year ago using the same setup. It worked perfectly, so I don't know how it happened. That's really weird. Or I say your director doesn't even have a real name. Exactly! He's not important enough to have a real name. Then why is he there? It happens to everyone, Morgana. Ugh. He's such a useless waste of space and resources. Ugh. Uh, get your own room. <laughs> get out of my house. I don't want to live with you anymore. Mm -hmm. Regret your choice for what? I didn't make you do anything. Right nine, woo. Yes. So then you that Okamura fight sucked. I hate it. I feel like it wasn't that. No, it was just as annoying in original P5. 
Thank you so much for today, everyone. Likewise. You sure must surely be exhausted. I suggest you go to sleep early. Hey, we should talk about Haru's welcome party. Did we just say we would let her rest you? Did we? I appreciate your concern, but I'm, oh, I'm okay. I promise. As long as you're okay, Haru. Well, is there anywhere you'd like to go? Actually, I'd like to walk around the school festival with everyone. You mean a Shujin High School festival? I must admit, I am interested as well. And it's settled. That reminds me, you still haven't settled on a guest. A guest? Like, some kind of celebrity? Wait, does that mean the Phantom Thieves could be one of the candidates? How about it? Wanna show up? That's a bit over the top. You're getting way too carried away. Don't say just strange things. What a shallow idea. Ooh, a four-hit combo! Sorry. I'm tired, right? That's my plan. Looking pretty healthy. Oh, I'm not tired! I can clean. Just because you're humming this song, we need a Mario 64 shoe. <laughs> oh my gosh, but playing games on- Oh wait, crossword, crossword, crossword! Playing games on N64 messed me up. Like, I got super motion sick. Necessary for dares. Truth? Guts? Fable's lesson. A Aesop? A- E- No, wait. I don't know. Griffin half. Bird? Lion? Lion. Fable's lesson? Kind of climber. Mountain? No. Rock? Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Uh. Uh. Well, one hour crossword time! <laughs> How do 64 games make you sick? You seem to do well with these games. Um, I don't know. I guess... Well, I'd have to see how I deal with 64 games now, because when it first came out, I think that was the first time it was really, like, 3D. And so my brain was like, whoa, this is not cool, and I threw up. Like, GoldenEye made me throw up. Mario 64, sometimes if the camera moves too quickly, I would get dizzy. Even, um, the Pokemon... The Pokemon... It was like Pokemon Stadium or something? Sometimes that made me, um... That made me sick, too. You need to watch Rent a Girlfriends. Is that a movie or anime or. or TV series? Fable's Lesson. Aesop's Fable. Is it not a lion for Griffin Half? It's either a lion or an eagle or a hawk. Yeah, so it's gotta be lion. Necessary for dares. Guts. Rebellion. I don't know. Anime? Okay, let me look it up. Rental girlfriend. Kanajo Okarishimas. Oh, it looks cute. I will have to check this out. If it's on Crunchyroll, then that would be awesome because I have a Crunchyroll subscription. Do 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 do. Fable's lesson. Oh. Kind of climber. Rugged. I don't know. I don't know. Necessary for dare. Fable's lesson. Fable's lesson. What ends in an L? Rule. I don't know. It is nice. Another. I still have to watch Kimetsu no Yaiba. Maybe I'll watch those. Fable says it. Can someone tell me the first letter for the actual answer, please? <laughs> ah, kind of climber. Rent a girlfriend looks good. It looks cute. I like the art style. Ruggedness necessary for theirs. Stagger Grace. No. 
you? You for the first one? That's it for theirs? Umbrella. Um. Um. Shoeless. I don't know. Ugly. Gosh! This is gonna be one hour across <laughs> from time! the story is so I don't think this is you okay we're gonna erase that okay necessary for dares something oh so kind of climber I received the message should I read it called the one hour concert <laughs> why you trick me so I really want to get this I don't want it to take an hour uh, don't okay Of climber. Don't read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> kind of climber. Only bad things could happen. <laughs> mm. Rustic. I mean, rustic fits, but I don't think that's a kind of climber. Excel. No. Locust? Locust fits, but I don't know if it's a climber. Read it, wait, no. <laughs> Stop confusing me, Nanoja! Um... Necessary for dares? Ghosts. Groceries. Ca Courage? Oh my gosh! I got it! Be back going to brush my teeth! Yeah, you brush your teeth! Floss too! Ah, I got it! Wait! So then what was, um... What was a kind of climber? Whoa! I got it! I got it! Woo! A common test of courage is the entering of scary or intimidating places. In Japan, these locations often tend to be unlit graveyards and temples. The traditional courage testing parlor game, Hundred Supernatural Tales, grew popular among samurai as a means of sharpening their nerve. Cool! It's weird that they have courage when in the game it's October. Normally you do test the courage in summer, would you not? Anyway, let's clean the cafe. Time to clean up! I gotta get kind. He kind of rewinds. Skip! Oh my gosh, it's so clean and beautiful. Oh my gosh, it didn't rank up again. Okay, let's see if it's cool enough to turn my, my AC. Whoa. Hello. Rank up. Rank max. Come on. Miscalculation. <laughs> なかなか見込みがあったようですね。We just beat a criminal. I'm awesome。一つ忠告しておこう。絶頂であるということは同時に転落への秒読みでもあるのだ。ゲームには。Oh my gosh, breaking the fourth wall! Ooh. Wait, I didn't rank up? Who are you guys? Awesome toast. <laughs> I'm smarty pants. Honestly, rent a girlfriend is sad and hilarious at the same time. I mean, but if it's slice of life, I love slice of life stories. 
The older I get, the more I enjoy them. You were supposed to be Pinocchio's dad. <laughs> I mean, but Pinocchio's, his keeps growing. Igor's doesn't. Oh, I'm sleeping in a futon. Oh my gosh, did they stop him? What are they gonna do? Now we wait. Slack off. Uh, what are you doing today? <gasps> Is it Makoto time? Makoto, what's my rank with her? Uh, hope it dance. Mm, wait, whoops, I missed it. Uh, uh, six. Do I have a priestess? I don't think I do because I got rid of her. Yeah, I got rid of her. Then, uh... Oh wait, library. Hi, I would like to rent a book, please. <gasps> There's two! Whoops. Uh, wait. Proficiency and charm. I don't need either of those. But I need the book reading trophy if there is one. Um, uh, Velvet's room, please. He just has a rush, Russian nesting doll nose. You pop one nose off and there's another underneath. It's <laughs> like pop, 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 pop. And in the end, he has no nose. <laughs> Give me a priestess. Do you? Uh, you priestess. Yeah. Sarah's body, come back to me. Come get out. Get out. Oh, I should save. Yeah, because that Haru fight was annoying. I mean, Okumura fight was annoying. Woohoo, save, 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 save. Nice. Um, okay. Nah. Oh, lot has changed for the both of us, hasn't it? Cool, whatever you say. Go right away and see her. Oh, I should see if Maruki is available, is he? Nope, he's not. It's only Makoto and Yuji. Bye. Do you have some time to talk about Eiko's boyfriend? Yes! Hang out with her! Well then, let's step inside the student council room. Eiko's boyfriend, Tsukasa, has been sending me a lot of texts recently. His days and nights are reversed due to his work, so he often sends me a good morning late at night. Ew. You think he likes- does Eiko know about this? I'm not sure. I'd definitely tell Eiko if he asked me out on a date. But for now, things are generally pretty normal. Mostly messages like, how's your BF? And hope you had a great day today. Do you think their relationship could actually be serious? Was I just biased to think that all he wants from Eiko is her money? Uh, no, he's suspicious. He's a shady dude. Yeah. I mean, it does sound like a TV show. A lying host that tricks women into death, then forces them to sell their bodies. But those kinds of things exist in reality as well. Immoral hosts, human trafficking rings. My father even mentioned to me about gangs of men that look specifically for depressed women in Shinjuku. No, they take yeah. advantage of the loneliness those girls feel to force them into horribly abusive situations. Then after ensuring the girls are buried in crippling debt, they make them sell their bodies to pay it off. There are other ways they force girls into it as well. Blackmail, illegal immigration. There are countless victims of schemes like that. Countless gangs as well. My father was going after a particularly, particularly notorious one when... In the course of his investigation, he was hit by an errant truck. The impact killed him instantly. At first it was thought to be an accident, but at the funeral, I overheard my father's supervisor speaking with my sister. He was saying my father had likely been assassinated. They suspected that the gang he was investigating hired the driver. Uh, who's your leader? I don't know. The driver died on impact as well, but apparently they found drugs in his bloodstream. 
By the way, that gang has been pushed back into the shadows thanks to the Shinjuku cleanup operation. I'm not sure any of that would have happened if not for that incident with my father. Uh, that's a horrible story. It wasn't tough without him. He was a noble man. Uh, tough without him? It was. I wanted to continue his work, but there was nothing I could do by myself. That's actually why my sister became a prosecutor to begin with. She couldn't stand by and watch as evil prevailed over justice. That passion undoubtedly came from our father. Our mother passed away many years back, so when father was killed, we had to survive on our own. The responsibility, the pressure of that all fell on my sister. Because of that, she can't help but talk down on our father at times. She says death is no different than surrender. Except if you surrender, you're still alive and can still do something about it. Death, you're just gone forever, weirdo. But I still look up to him. I was often lonely because of how much time he spent at work, but seeing him tirelessly pursue one case after the next was nothing short of incredible. That's how my father chose to live his life, trying to bring justice and order to the world around him. That's admirable. Yeah. Come to think of it, there was something he used to say to me all the time. The most important part of your life is how you choose to live it. Hmm. How have I chosen to live? And more importantly, how do I want to live? Uh, you can figure that out now. You're still just a kid. So now, you're right. I can still change my path going forward. To be honest, I've been determined to follow the path my sister laid for me. After my father's death, I wanted to lighten the burden on her as much as I possibly could. Oh, we were supposed to be talking about Eiko here. Sorry for going so off topic. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! So, what the heck? Gifting sub? Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the gift sub, dude! Oh my gosh! Oh wait, I missed- Okay, wait. First I have to hydrate. Eiko's BF to sketchy to- Yeah, he's so gross. Sorry I missed all your- When I went to an American host club, that's because, to be honest- Wait! There are American host clubs? Whoa. Like white dudes trying their hardest to be Asian anime men. Where was this American host club? That is so weird. Where's your toy? Did he do do? Oh, and you got a B emote. That's so cute. Ah! In the land of Florida. Interesting. Do they have a big like Jap Japanese like population there? Or are just people really into anime down there? That's really interesting. I thought it was Jake the dog. <laughs> Such a painful memory to look back on. But I feel comfortable discussing it with you. And beyond that, I think I understand my life a bit better now. So, thank you. I can sense a deep bond and trust. I really wish I could go out with her again. But no. I gotta go out with, um, Kasumi. I think it closed down, though. I went there, like, a year ago. Oh, dang. Seiko, gloating again. Maybe I'll, like, skip college and just get married to Tsukasa instead. I guess she's choosing how she wants to live, too. As long as she's sure, she'll be happy. Oh, another message. Huh? You serious about Toast-kun? Wanna have a double wedding? I wish I could say I'm game if you are, but I can't cheat on Kasumi later on, so what are you going to say? I'm sorry. I, I don't want to be like, yo, I'm straight out rejecting you. <sighs> do it, do it. No! No! I can't! I don't want to cheat on her, and I don't want to refuse her. I'll just say, what are you going to say? So I'll respond, I don't know. I couldn't even begin to think about marriage at this point in my life. By the way, can you keep pretending to be my boyfriend for a bit longer? That's the best bet that I have of keeping tabs on Eiko and Tsukasa. At any rate, thanks for listening to me today. I'll let you know if anything urgent comes up. I'm... I'm planning to go for, um, Kasumi. So, I don't wanna go for any other girl, because I don't want to be a cheater. I don't like cheating. Hey, do you have time right now? Sorry for venting so much before. 
I just wanted to talk about Aiko, but I got a little off topic. Thanks for still pretending to be my boyfriend, too. I don't trust Aiko's boyfriend yet, so can we keep this up until I can make a call one way or the other? I wish I could say this. <laughs> I love you, Makoto. I love- I'm- Okay, new game plus round, I'm definitely gonna have to go out with Makoto. Like, I- uh, This feels so This hurts me so much to reject her. Thanks, I'm counting on you. Let's see how convincing a boyfriend you can be. I'll talk to you later, bye! Uh, yeah, I'm- The only reason why I'm sh gunning for Kasumi is for royal stuff. Ugh. Oh, uh, Kasumi's not smelly! I understand why Kasumi is a gymnast, so she is flexible. <laughs> oh, shoot, special assignment. I have forgotten about it. Whoops. Better not keep us waiting for long. We'll be waiting in front of our door. I'm gonna knock on our door. We'll be waiting for you. My dad's acting weird. Don't worry, he'll be fine. I've got city armor. I could. Blah, 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 blah. Who wants to hang out with me? Bought a dart set online. Cool. Um. Kawakami, Iwai, Mishima, ah, Mishima, Oya, uh, okay, I'll just, um, go to the twins, I'll hang out with them, give me skill cards, I do not like her, but that's a discussion for later, ooh, I mean, I've heard that people don't like Kasumi because they feel like they're, like, trying to thrust her upon you like hey make sure you go out with her because she's a new girl but i still think she's cute time to take drugs with underage twin girls in cosplay <laughs> what the place we wish to evaluate for rehabilitation is somehow capable of simulating the ocean despite being indoors rumor has it that sea creatures from all around the world have been gathered in this one place what an incredulous claim recreating something as fast as the ocean within a building does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. It's the aquarium! <laughs> oh, an aquarium, huh? Guess we'll see how well it's recreated Mother Ocean. Let us see just what humanity is capable of. Now, lead us there. Like how everyone is in Dancing Star, like, got a new outfit except for the ball she got was headphones. I know, right? I'm just like, wow, way to not give her a cool, fancy outfit. Well, I guess because her outfit was already, like, cool and stylish. I mean, that's what I feel like they did for Akihiko. Like, everyone else got, like, ooh, bling. Oh, like, cool, sexy outfit. Akihiko just got a red jacket to put on. And I'm like, give him prettier clothes, please. Akihiko and Futaba got shafted in the outfit department. I want to make a video comparing and contrasting the differences between P5 and P5R, but only time will tell if it'll pan out. Do it! I think it'll be interesting. Wait, she actually had headphones before. Akichi only got a hoodie too. Yeah, Futaba always has the headphones on. Yeah, see, she got shafted hardcore. Akichi only got a hoodie too. Is he part of the cast? Or is he a DLC? Because if he's DLC, I did not play with him. Because I got the Japanese version of the games, so I can't get any of the DLC characters. Are the Persona dancing games actually fun? Yes. I will say yes because I love, um... I love rhythm games. And the music was cool and fun. And they- all the characters look beautiful. Japanese version Weeby Toast. <laughs> if you like rhythm games, you'll like the dance game. Mm. I mean, I wanted to get the Japanese versions because I wanted to play the games. ASAP, and I love the Japanese voice actors. So yeah, I guess I am a weeb. These glass walls certainly make it appear as if we are walking along the floor of the ocean. It's my first time in this place, but it feels familiar to me somehow. It's a, it's all the blue. Such a super superficial detail would not preoccupy us. Well, Don't act like you're some cider expert, inmate. Let's continue inspecting the premises. There are a number of other exhibits we've yet to see. So many different kinds of fish. Yes, the semi-transparent floating invertebrates were quite fascinating. I believe they're named jellyfish. Those sea cucumber life forms were also very intriguing. Really? They only creeped me out. The exhibit with the enormous fish was much cooler. The killer whale, if I remember correctly. Correctly? Correctly. Wow. What nonsense is this? The jellyfish are far more appealing. 
No, the killer whale is clearly superior. Inmates. Boy. Settle this. Uh, jellyfish, duh. Who cares about killer whales? I'm relieved that you understand. Oh, Damn it! No, well, maybe you'll see how cool the killer whale is if I toss you in his tank. I believe we complete our inspection of the premises, correct? We've seen how oceanic life forms from all over the world have been gathered here by humans. Indeed, that raises a question, though. Why do humans go through the trouble of collecting other creatures and putting them on public display? Uh, to assert their dominance, to admire nature. But they construct this chamber of concrete and glass only to confine themselves in it alongside the creatures? The arrogance. They admire nature so much, they should just move to a rainforest. Oh, hells no. I still don't get you, humans. Whatever the case may be, this assignment is now complete. Here is your reward. Masukukata! Masukunda! Cool. Alright, it's time to head back. A free penguin show will begin shortly at the exhibition stage. Please come and enjoy the performance. What is a penguin? A cute flightless bird. Hmm. We have no particular interest in such a display. But since you look like you're dying to witness this inmate, we'll tag along. After watching the penguin show, I escorted the twins back to the bubble room. I didn't play them, I watched the others play them because I get way too into rhythm games. Do it, do it, it's fine. Might have to look into it because I love rhythm games. Yes! More people play dancing! P3's designs seem to go for comfort rather than swag. That's... Mm, you're right. True, because Fuka... Oh, Fuka's dancing outfit is so cute. Ken's dancing outfit is also so cute. You're right. I P5's is more like like, cool and punk, and P3's is more like, hey, we're cute, we're comfy. Did I hear jelly? Heck yeah, jellyfish. Also, I recommend playing P4 Dancing all night if you want to get into them. It's the best in the series, and P5D had a lot of issues that were aren't prevalent in it. I actually like P3D the best. The reason is the coloring of the, of the buttons. Because most of the re regular notes that you push a button on, they're yellow. Most of the P4 backgrounds are yellow. So I would miss them and be like, damn it, this sucks. P5's background is mostly red. So if you play for a long time, my eyes hurt so much. So like, Persona 5, I really could not play. P5D, I couldn't play for a long time without taking a break. P3 is perfect balance because P3's background is mostly blue, so my eyes weren't dying. You could see all of the colors, which is cool, and the only blue thing you had to pay attention to in terms of like game-wise is a huge ring, and that is so noticeable that you can't miss it, so I like P3, P3D the best. Uh, P4D didn't get any outfits either, like they got red bandana and things under their arms. Yeah. I mean, their outfits got slightly tweaked, but it wasn't to the extent of like P5 and P3D. So they got shafted on the outfit thing. I don't think you understand, Jedi. I spent like 1k at an arcade one time because I got two into a rhythm game, but hey, I still have the high school. Or... <gasps> Holy crap, dude! That's insane! I mean, like, I used to have DDR for the PS2 and I would spend a lot of time on that, but... That was at home. Like, I... Wow, that's... Props to you, man. Okay, Smooth, have a good night. Thanks for joining! A message from Eiko. Yo, you wanna hang out again? Eiko contemplates. She says she wants to talk. I've held off giving her a solid response yet. And when I try to ask for more details, she simply says she wants to talk about it in person. It's okay with you. Do you think we should go see her together? <gasps> We're gonna get stronger! Um, wait. I have to see if uh, Maruki is available. He's not. Cool. We're gonna go see Makoto again! <laughs> go right away! Thank you! A little bit graver, showing a Big Bang Burger. Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. What? It's nothing real major, but I need it like 
right now. I'll pay it back though, honest. Please. Does this have to do with Sukasa? Hmm? He dropped the super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it. But he needs help. He's lying to you, Eiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Tsukasa's not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess. I'm the only one he says that to, you know? He says it's because I'm special. So he calls you his special princess. What do you think, jelly -kun? Uh, he says it to all his girls. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But did you ask anyone at his club about the broken bottle? Well, um, no. He told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto. You're the only person I can trust. All of my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than, than take the time to help me. And who knows what my parents would say if I tried to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't try to put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some sus suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to college. Hey, girl. He can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just gonna go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's gonna be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from him as you can. So you're not gonna help me? Ugh, just forget it. I can make it up if I let some customers take me out on dates after work. Hey, great! Didn't want to have to tell you this, but Tsukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if my sister and I live alone and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Eiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap! Tsukasa's just so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? It was mostly him texting me. Ugh, he had the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more? Tsukasa's all I have. You can't take him from me. He's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right. Just keep your hands off. i never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. At least you have parents! <sighs> Tsukasa is all she has? You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Eiko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Tsukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that. You're going to help, right? Uh, what are we gonna do? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I doubt I'll be able to do it alone. Eiko's blessed to have both money and a family, but she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. But I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternative viewpoints on the world. But that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that, just like you did for me. Uh, uh, wait, I missed it. You should watch Sea Dogs VA's video where he becomes a host for a day. It's kind of funny in a really awkward way. But Rekka's Waka do it? Now she is at 8. You have a cool boyfriend, you have braids, what else could you watch? <laughs> that girl needs the pin pants. Aww. Yes. I mean, yeah, if you really think you have no one else, she's of course she's gonna cling to that creepy, gross douchebag, but... Uh. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. What is the right way to live? However you want, man. At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. Mata ne. Mata the friend zone, dude. No! I don't want to friend zone home, but I'm gonna have to. It's gonna break my heart. It's gonna be the most painful oh, thing ever. Inmate, we are calling you to notify you of a special assignment. We have heard of a location where human emotions have been rendered into solid form. Huh, we want to see for ourselves why they do that. So there you have it. Now hurry up and get over here. Is this mandatory? 
Oh my gosh, that is weird. Yaruka. Emotions into physical form. Where would that be? Okay. Uh, velvet rose. <laughs> A repository for so-called art exhibits. Oh, okay. Apparently, such places collect many objects solely for the purpose of displaying them. Autumn is supposedly referred to as the season of the arts in your world, so it is especially appropriate timing. Art is an expression of the heart. It echoes the soul of both artists and viewers, or so I've heard. The strength of one's heart is the strength of their persona. I am certain this place shall aid in the inmates' rehabilitation. Does this location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, escort us there. Art museum. Ah, so you do know it. Take us there! And to be honest, some girls be like that, but then they have a guy friend zone, and then that dude buys them a pet rat, and then he gets ghost. Wait, what? <laughs> then it's a chat lock so fast. Whoa. And they keep the rat. I'm sorry, but if. This never happened to me. But if I ever went out with someone and we broke up, and he bought me stuff. I wouldn't want to keep it, cause then I'd be like, oh, I only have this thing because of this dude who's not in my life anymore, and I'd be like, take it back. I think that's why I like buying like expensive stuff for myself whenever people are like, oh, it's your birthday or like Christmas, what do you want for a present? And I'm just like, books? Because if it's expensive, and it like, especially like a gaming system, I want to buy that for myself. So that I don't have to like, lose it if I ever break up. If that ever happens. <laughs> yeah. This is something that you've seen so, perhaps. <laughs> why would you- why would- Wow. That- It sucks when people take advantage of other people. It's like, that's such a scummy thing to do. How do you have the- Like, the gall? And just the inconsiderate nature to be like, hey, I'm gonna use you however I want, and then I'm gonna totally ditch you. It's like, don't even involve yourself in that with that person in the first place. That's just so... <sighs> How do you do that? I just always say money since I usually only ever want something obscure. I have no idea at all, right? When it's like not time to think about a gift, you're like, oh man, this would be nice. This would be nice. This would be nice. And then when the time comes to pick a gift, you're just like... Whoa, I don't actually want anything. Look man, Emma's me wasn't that good with ladies. <gasps> no! I mean, but honestly, in middle school, nobody's good with the opposite gender. We're all, even with like the same gender, even between friends, we're, we're not like smooth. And we all make mistakes. Oh gosh, middle school sucks. <laughs> I'm still that. <laughs> I mean, I'm still not good with dudes either, whatever. Now in college, me is drowning in a single relationship. <laughs> My head. I mean, like, don't force yourself to get into a relationship. But if you find someone nice, like, go after them. But don't be like, oh man, I'm like 20 something. I should have a significant other. Don't think like that. Because then you're just gonna make yourself miserable. If it comes naturally, then yeah, go for it. I see. Our prior information was correct. There seem to be a great number of objects on display here. Are these all art exhibits? I've heard of them before. Apparently they involve humans' aesthetic senses or something. Let's go inspect the premises. Are you even capable of appreciating art properly? Not what do you mean by that? Stop shouting so loudly. The sign's prohibited. I know. Anyway, let's go appreciate some art already. The number of pieces on display far exceeded my expectations. Art sure does take many forms, though. Some of the work was downright photorealistic. Actually, wouldn't it be easier just to take photos in those situations? And what's the portraits or whatever they're called? What's the point of painting a giant human face? Those landscapes are even more incomprehensible. What is so interesting about paintings of some dull terrain? Where is the fun in painting in living humans or scenery just so that other humans can look at it? Uh, they see true beauty. Whatever. 
Ah, I see now. There are paintings of flowers of noble women here that would certainly fit that description. But there are paintings of other things like empty mountains and wrinkly old men too. Is there also a true beauty in those too? I don't get it. Speaking of, there was one exhibit that looked just like a bunch of scribbles. Why would they do something? Why would something like that be displayed? I can understand different art having different levels of craftsmanship, but wasn't that simply on par with the child's? No, if anyone is a child here, it's you. Even I could sense something special from that painting. What are you on about? It's scribbles, any way you look at it. The face is all screwed up, the nose and ears are wrong. That painting and his accurate description of the darkness within the human heart. How unfortunate, Carolyn. It seems you lack even a shred of aesthetic sense. Excuse me? I'll tell you who's lacking, Justine. You're lacking proper eyesight. Perhaps you lack any sense at all. Sounds like you need a good shock to the brain. The same could be said for you. Hey, inmate, are you going to tell me that mess of a sketch is actually art? I hate it! It's scribbles! I hate modern art! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you lost this one, Justine. Admit it. The inmate's opinion is not a reliable frame of reference. Say, did you see the painting that looked like a bunch of scribbles? Apparently it's worth 500 billion yen. What? Even my youngest can make something that looked like that. 500 million! That makes no sense whatsoever! I wholly agree with you on that. This requires further study. Let us continue to inspect the premises. I hate modern art. It is stupid. We saw a great deal of interesting displays. But that last sculpture we saw, that was nothing but a tasteless reproduction of a naked body. Are you going to tell me that counts as art too? I thought this human concept of beauty simply took many forms, but has spread all the way into the realm of the bizarre. Why do humans even pursue this beauty in the first place? Do you also waste your efforts striving towards beauty, inmate? I'm already beautiful. <laughs> From where do you muster such stupendous confidence? But Joker is a good-looking dude, man. We'll see how you feel after I stuff you into a trash can. But anyway, we've seen the art that humans are so fond of. This assignment is officially complete. Holy crap, it's hot again. Here is your reward. Regenerate! Woo! Still haven't learned why some of the humans call Autumn the season of their arts, though. Well, whatever. How about we head back and try to make our own paintings? A fine idea. What shall we paint? Scribbles. Guillotine? <laughs> the master? Yes. Yes. We'll figure it out when we're back. Hey, inmate, let's get to step in. Uh. The thing is, all the girls I know are underage and I'm 18. Ooh, ooh. That's a rough age to be at. <laughs> that is awkward age. How's my plant? Pretty healthy. Okay. So it's been just about two hours. Let me finish reading the chat. I want to see the twins judge Yusuke's paintings. Oh, yes. I was hoping that, like, the um, the painting that they would see would be Yusuke's, but no, it was just some grass with flowers. So I'm just like, eh. I want to watch Carolyn rip him, rip into him, and then watch Joker pick him back up. Oh, that would be so cute. 500 million yen. Yeah, that's crazy. Do I just make abstract art piece scribble and make 10 million yen and retire into the. The thing I hate about modern art. I went to a museum, the Museum of Modern Art in Manhattan a couple of years ago, and it's just all modern art. There was a huge piece of canvas, just one piece that was just painted blue. Nothing else on it, just one layer of blue. And it was worth hundred thousands of dollars. And I was like, why? I could stretch the canvas. I can just paint a blue square. Like, what about that makes it so expensive? Anyone can do it. I hate modern art. But how does something like that get considered an expensive art? I don't know. Maybe it's the people that they know. And it's like, oh, so, you know, the end result of this painting isn't just the blue square. But, you know, you see, I painted on the sides of the canvas, too. So it's like my art is reaching into different planes or some BS like that. And then everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're right. This is amazing. I hate modern art. That's like 4,600,000. Yeah, it's crazy. Ugh. Modern art is for rich money laundering. I, I wouldn't doubt it. Remember when Gangrubs did 
G for April Fools. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> but just like <sighs> studying modern art sucks because at least during the Renaissance, when they were going for like, hey, make as realistic paintings as you can, and then they like discovered chiaroscuro and different kinds of shading, like. That was art! Because it's like, wow, this is really beautiful and you're going into different techniques and look at all these colors and whoa, things look 3D on like a flat surface. And then people who couldn't draw were like, this isn't fair, you know, art isn't all about looking beautiful. And then they're just like, okay, now we're gonna make cubism and surrealism, which like cubism, cool, fine. Surrealism, cool also. But then you keep devolving into, oh, hey, these like, four squares overlapping each other. That's art. No, it's not. Hey, this urinal is an art piece. No, it's not. It's just a freaking urinal you picked off the side of the road. I hate. I hate. Anime figures would be considered modern art. Yeah. Also, also hi, Robin. How you doing? Thanks for joining. But yeah, if someone was like, oh, hey, look at all these anime figures and then like melted them somehow or like placed them on some kind of pedestal in some way and they're like look at this this is so telling a story of blah 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 they could sell that for modern art and i'm just like ah. uh, before innovation now hey look at blue square i hate it that blue square canvas pissed me off so much i was like hey like a two-year-old could do this just dump a paint bucket onto a canvas done modern art Next art revolution is coming from animation and games. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't doubt it. Deltos fans are great, but yeah, I don't get modern art. Any- I hate modern art! I hated studying modern art in college. It was so freaking annoying and stupid! That's why I hate going to, um, modern art museums. Ugh. I mean, unless it's photography, then it's cool. Because it's like, yes, you're taking photos. I want to see- how you take photos or like what subjects you take photos of but like <sighs> how dare you dislike art as someone who studied art you're allowed to dislike stuff you're allowed to think things are stupid that's the whole point of art isn't it to start discussions and be like what makes this art what doesn't make this art like hey you say art is supposed to be beautiful well do you think this thing is beautiful but it's still considered art celebrate the name to dab dab <laughs> <sighs> Jelly Dab is art, oh my gosh. There was a performance piece where a dude built a fake floor uh, in the room of a gallery and he was just lying underneath the fake floor and he was just jerking off to people who were walking in that room. Like there would be different like, I don't know if there was one only one hole or if there were like multiple holes between the wood planks, but like he'd just look up, see that people were walking by and be like jerking off. And he wasn't trying to be quiet about it. If he made noise, you'd hear him. And then people were just like, where is this noise coming from? That was a performance art piece. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, that's art. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I hate modern art. All I keep thinking right now is that one scene from Iron Giant. It's art. <laughs> That's how Corona 2 Electric just <laughs> <comes from. laughs> Jerky dope. I mean, this this wasn't recent. Like, this guy was was it the 80s? It was before the 90s, I think, for sure. But yeah, that, that was it. Oh my gosh! Robin! Oh my gosh, thanks for subbing! Woo! Yeah, it was like, cause I learned about this in college and I went into college, I was in college starting from 2005. So yeah, it was, it was like a while ago, but oh, yeah, some, like the most recent modern art thing that took over the world, the banana tape to the wall. Anyone can tape a banana to a wall, but why did that sell for like over $20,000? That's stupid. 2005, that's 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Wow, I got into college two 15 years ago. That's crazy. Wow. 
Bananas hate to wall? That sounds bananas. <laughs> but I'm. I was three to tell. No, you. What? You were three? I was 18. Dude. <gasps> oh my god, you're a baby, bro. <laughs> I understand your frustration with modern art. Like, where's the effort? I was too. Oh! <laughs> you guys are babies. Oh. Sweet summer children. In his 1972 performance, Seedbed, American artist Vito Akanchi. Yes! Yes, that's it! Constructed a false floor at a New York art gallery and hid beneath the speakers, relayed his voice into the gallery as visitors walked over the wooden floor. They heard a murmuring sexual fantasy about them while masturbating, thereby evoking the paranoia of the Nixon era. I believe it was up now, though. Good. <laughs> Granny toast. <sighs> no. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely older than everyone, though. Thank the Lord. <laughs> but yeah, see, I was not lying. Guy masturbating. Hey, it's modern art. Gosh. Ugh. I feel old, but not that old. Wait till you hit your 30s, and then your body starts breaking down, and then you're just like, well, I can't stay up as late as I did anymore. I can't eat as much as I used to anymore. Starting from 30, your body just breaks down. It's all downhill from there. Look forward to it. <laughs> Okay, so it's been about two hours and this is a good place to stop because next time I want to go to Disney World in the game. Jerky Toast Clip, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that after stream ends. Oh gosh. I'm only 18 and the music of my childhood plays in grocery stores. Damn. It's been so long since I entered like an American grocery store. I don't know what music they play anymore. Thanks for streaming. See you tomorrow. Definitely. Tomorrow, I think I could stream. Wednesday, I have an eye doctor appointment. So I won't be streaming Wednesday night. I don't know if I'll make it up on Thursday. But yeah, tomorrow, definitely stream. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Stay toasty. Stay cool. Hope the weather cools down for everyone. Anyways, ha good night. I had a blast tonight. Yeah, I had a blast too. Thanks. Thank you everyone for staying and chatting. I had a really fun chat tonight. But yeah, everyone sleep well, get some rest, and good night. Bye bye.